What's going on guys, it's Carl here, back with another episode, and finally my review of the last Apple product that came out in October. It's the small one that maybe the most hype wasn't around. It is, of course, of the brand new Mac Mini. This guy, right here. The first thing that you'll probably notice is the enclosure is now in space gray, and that kind of matches the theme of, say, the iMac Pro, the iPad Pro, my MacBook Air even. It just seems to be space gray everything these days for Apple. And to tell you the truth, I did not think the Mac Mini would see another upgrade in my time. I thought it was kind of RIP, we would never see him again, but we do have a refresh for 2018 and there are a lot of hardware changes coming to this guy. So first and foremost, the I.O. on the back. We've got four Thunderbolt 3 ports, USB-C, an HDMI port, two USB connectors, a headphone jack, Ethernet that you can get up to 10 gigabits, and of course the power connector. Switching around to the back, you just see of course Mac Mini in black, and you can get into this guy even though Apple says you technically shouldn't. I ended up getting the base model. My specs were right this time. This guy starts at 800 bucks. With that, you get a 3.6 gigahertz quad core, eight gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage. If you really wanna go crazy with this guy, you can get a six core i7. You can upgrade the RAM to 64 gigs. You can even plug this guy into an external GPU, but you start to have all these different plugins, which kind of asks you why you didn't get, say, a dedicated iMac Pro or even a MacBook Pro that is way more versatile and travel friendly than the Mac Mini. So who is the Mac Mini essentially for? And I've really wondered that as I haven't owned one for too long myself. It's for someone that has their own peripheral. So for example, this guy was set up in my living room over there. I did have a 4K LG display. I was rocking just the standard wireless keyboard and trackpad from my iMac Pro and the Logitech MX Master 2S. A very clean setup as it does have Thunderbolt 3 USB-C on the back. I could run the display off of one cable and that's all I needed to have a fully operational machine. And Apple's use cases in the keynote were very interesting. They said that you could theoretically travel with this guy. Technically you can, it is super lightweight, will definitely fit into any pack. You just have to remember when you go to your second location, you have to ensure you've got a display, you've got a keyboard and you have a mouse, something that isn't always available for most people I would say. Musicians maybe, but for 95% of you that get this guy, it will be stationary on your desk and it will probably live there for its lifetime. But theoretically, these setups are very simple. Let me go grab my monitor right now and kind of show you how quick I can do this. Okay, 4K display. Essentially, the two cables you'll need, power, that is one, and of course, USB-C as the second. Success! Space gray keyboard to match, and of course the little trackpad. And the base model has kind of been whizzing through all the things that I do on, say, my MacBook Pro or even my iMac Pro. It comes with Mac OS Mojave out of the box. I've got good old dark mode running. I was crunching through some 4K edits the other night. I wouldn't recommend, say, dumping ProRes or 8K red footage into this guy, but for most people that are looking to spend, say, 800, 1,000 bucks, this guy gets by perfectly fine. Just remember, of course, you'll need your own display. I will leave this one linked down below. It's not too, too expensive. It's still a great 4K panel. Of course, it uses USB-C, your own keyboard, your own peripherals, and if you do have that, I think the Mac me could be a very viable option for a lot of you out there. Curious to hear your thoughts. I still think having, say, a laptop, I've got my new MacBook Air here. This guy could theoretically work if I just take this out. We have now essentially the exact same setup. I no longer need the keyboard trackpad as I've got that built in on my MacBook Air and whenever I want to unplug it, this guy is still a mobile computer and way more portable than the Mac Mini. Catch you guys in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.